What's up? Welcome to Reflections and Encouragement with Mike Brown. I'm Mike Brown. For those tuning in for the first time, welcome. Thanks for joining, watching, listening. My goal for this show is to hopefully inspire at least one person each week. I've actually upped that goal to two people because over time I've come to learn I'm one of the people that I'm trying to inspire with something that I say. I really do try to live out the things I talk about in these messages as I progress throughout my week. For those who tuning in for multiple times, thanks for continuously supporting the show. As I look back on this, this past week, it was a week in which there were a lot of birthdays <laughs> and birthdays are a theme for the entire month of July because I think between my family and Jamie's family, we have to have about 20, 25 birthdays between our family. So we almost have a birthday every week or at least <laughs> a birthday every day in the month. Celebrate my cousin Gerald's birthday, turned 50. What's up, cousin? Happy birthday, man. Big 5-0, I see you. And then my niece, my niece Sydney, I see you down there. 14, crazy. I'm like, man, I remember I was 14. <laughs> but look, you, you've, you're growing up, beautiful young lady, and I uh, just wish you a, a very happy birthday. Hope you're still celebrating. <laughs> Birthdays, I'll tell you. Mine is now coming up. I uh, about to be 42, which is wild. Can't even imagine. <laughs> that, you know, it's crazy. I'm the age, you know, my, my, my parents were <laughs> at one point. My aunts and uncles were <laughs> at one point. Now I'm their age. And it's pretty wild. Or I'm about to be, rather, right? And whenever birthdays come around, the one thing that's been, that I've been doing lately with birthdays is, is a lot of reflecting. This show is a reflection, <laughs> but just been reflecting on on things. And as I look already look back on on 41 so far, ran my first marathon or half marathon, wrote a number of books. I actually Friday night, this is crazy. Friday night, I sat down and I started writing my first play. <laughs> I'm not a playwright, but I guess I'll be changing that soon, which is pretty wild. But I wrote out the sketches for eight scenes in a play, five different songs. It's pretty wild. So I wrote this play, or the start of a play. And after that, I was like geeked up, right? And this is late, it's late at night. But I'm geeked, I'm on 10 after writing this out, and I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and so I started watching or listening to some Hamilton songs, and it's just like, that's the worst thing to do because I listened to practically the whole album to like one, two in the morning. <laughs> and so it was wild, but I was just geeked up and just thinking about Lynn and his journey and how he wrote so many things a long time ago and they come to life years later. And then of course, on one of the songs, he talks about building something that'll last beyond his time that's where I'm at right now, is I'm looking at building things that are going to last beyond me. And as I think about these things I'm trying to do across these different facets of my life, the, the one thing that keeps me very grounded, <laughs> keeps me very centered, keeps me very focused, is something actually from Frozen. <laughs> and it's it's the next thing, right? The next right thing. I've got a to-do list that's beyond crazy. And I've got some big goals that I've set for myself and some things that I want to do. Personal, professional, family-wise. And what I'm really focused on trying to do as I round out my, my time at 41 here is just focus on doing the next right thing. Taking taking that next step, looking at the big list and just tackling things one at a time and just doing the next thing to make, get movement on whatever that, that bigger, bigger picture task may be. 
So that's my encouragement for you. You know, I think some of you who are out there, maybe listening to this, have got some big goals, some big challenges that are out there, some things that you would like to maybe accomplish in your life. You don't know where to start. You don't know what to do, right? So I try to start by writing it down. And then my next action is uh, I'm trying to figure out what the next small thing I could do to, to make progress on that thing. So that's that. That's my encouragement. See you on the other side. 42, here I come. Coming at you. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, have a, have, a, have a great week, everybody. Take care. God bless.